Hey guys, this is Greg with Fit4 Expedition, and today we are going to be talking about this and about this. So as you might know, we are planning on moving into our box van eventually after we downsize from our home and all of those kinds of things. But um, obviously we're going to need some power. We want to be able to boondock as long as we want. We have decided to go with two power stations, one small one as a backup and then a larger system that's going to be 5,000 watt hours. This one is only 288 watt hours. But this is called the EcoFlow River. Now, by adding this battery right here, you turn it into 576 watt hours. It doubles the capacity. So today we're going to connect this battery to the EcoFlow River 600 and charge it and then see how that works out. Now this is a great um, investment for someone who, especially for someone who's like camping and that kind of thing in there uh, and they want some power, you know, tent camping, car camping, whatever. But it's also great for when your power goes out at your home, especially in Arizona where it's almost a necessity because when the temperatures are 90 degrees at night and you don't have a fan or AC, it's either get in your car and turn on the AC or have something like this and be able to run some fans. All right, let's put this thing together. Now, the first thing I want to do is open this battery up. So these are the bolts. It comes with a little screwdriver to put it in if you don't have any tools. And then here is a uh, little manual or instructions on the EcoFlow River Extra Battery. Next up, we've got the battery. Now this also came in an external box. It doesn't just come like that. So this is the EcoFlow Max. And I would assume it's gonna be pretty simple to put together. So let's see on the bottom of this, there's these four screws that are basically on the little legs here. Um, this is supposed to attach there. So, like that. But we have to take this bottom, this base off first. Okay, so these screws, or these bolts, rather, are only this long. So they send you these longer bolts to, uh, to actually add the battery. So there's that much difference in size. I'm going to put this on its top. And there we go. So we've got these connect into there. Looks simple. Let's find out. So far, so good. Okay, the bottom goes back on here. The other way around I'll show you why you can see the vent pattern right there so it kind of gives you a little hint all right and it went right on and so these are supposed to screw in pull out the rest of these bolts 
and screw them in. Now I am not an electrician, so this is how a layman puts this together. Not an electrician. I will tell you, you want to make sure that this is turned off. And it says that in the instructions as well. And you want to watch out for static electricity when you're hooking this up. Okay. So we're all connected up. And now we've got double the power as soon as I charge it up. Now this can be charged with a solar setup, so solar panels, and uh, they sell you a solar panel, it's really expensive, 210 watts, but they, it does come with the um, MC4 connectors, so it's not like some kind of a proprietary uh, connection system, um, and you can buy the panels elsewhere. They just say there's no warranty for this or this, if something happens because of the other solar panel which is unlikely, but like I said, I'm not an electrician. The system also can be charged with a, you know, from your vehicle lighter, and it can also be charged from shore power or house current. Um, it has USBs here, the lighter, let's see. There's a lighter plug in here. You wanna make sure that's really good and waterproof, I guess. Um, and I know there's an official name for that, but uh, a technical name for that connection. Also has a flashlight, which they all have. This is the charging cord to 110. And so you just plug it in. You know, it just lit up. It's at 65%. So it, it came with some charge. I know that the system before I put the battery on it was at 90% okay so I unplugged everything it's not getting any power from the house now the house current so that is how easy it is to actually add that additional battery and double the capacity of that EcoFlow river uh, I was impressed in how well it went together. Um, I think anyone can handle it. Now, like I said, I'm not an electrician, so um, that's a layman saying anyone can handle that job, okay? Um, so only time will tell if this is gonna keep up with what we need. But like I said, this is our backup unit. It's not gonna be our main unit. We'll be adding this solar panel. This is a 180 watt new power solar panel and um, the this is rated it can actually accept a, up to 200 watts the EcoFlow this is 180 watts so it shouldn't be an issue and all the numbers lined up all the amps and watts and everything that it needed uh, make sure that you look in the book of the EcoFlow River make sure you abide by that when you order your solar panel okay this has been Greg with fit for expedition uh, thanks a lot for being here. Um, also, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. Share this video with your friends. If you know somebody else who is looking for a power station, this might be a good video for them to check out. And also, be like the Fonz and give this video a thumbs up. Hey.